Hi, I'm going to give you a high-level demo and walkthrough of Harness's new Database DevOps module. This new module is built around three key pillars. The first is helping companies orchestrate database changes. Today, many companies can ship stateless applications many times a day, but the instant they need to modify a database schema, for example, to add a column, these deployments often grind to a halt. Harness Database DevOps allows you to bring all of your CI-CD best practices to the database, allowing you to ship your database changes exactly the same way you ship any other application code. Many companies struggle, because of these manual processes, to understand the state of the database cross environments. They don't know where changes have been deployed, and sometimes changes get missed when they are intended to be deployed to environments. Similarly, even if everything goes great, because it's a manual process, sometimes the on-call engineer may not have visibility into the fact that this process is even going on. From a governance standpoint, many companies want to empower the DBAs to restrict what the developers can do. This is to keep the developers safe and to ensure compliance around the database. For example, one of the most common policies our customers enforce is preventing dropping tables from the database. We'll walk through that example in just a minute. Let me show you what all this looks like in product. So I mentioned visibility earlier. Here I'm on Harness Database DevOps Migration State Dashboard. For this database, I can see the details of every single change to the database, as well as which instance it's been deployed to. Columns are instances, the rows are the changes to the database. If you look at this row 20, you can see it's deployed to Sandbox still, but I rolled it back on all of my other production environments. Why did I roll it back? It was a change with unintended consequences, and I needed to get production back to being stable. Similarly, you can see change set 22. It deployed to development, but it had errors. It failed its deployment, and we never pushed it on from there. Similarly, from a visibility standpoint, we have an overview page. It lets you easily flip and see that migration state view we were just on between all of your various database schemas. It also allows you to easily see what your most recent deployments are by schema and instance. Lastly, it gives you an overview of all of your pipeline executions. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and make a new change. I'm deploying it to the Sandbox database. So note that currently, the most recent thing deployed to the Sandbox database is the change SE Training-3. I've got this git commit ready to go, and when I commit this, Harness is going to automatically detect that my desired state in Git has changed. This allows you to do GitOps and manage all of your changes to your database through Git, just like your application developers do for their application today. When I come back over into Harness, you'll notice that a new pipeline has started running. This pipeline is going to go ahead and run the entire process of updating my sandbox environment with that change. It's going to start by grabbing a snapshot of the current state of the database so that we can refer back to it and have it stored for easy audit purposes. After it does that, it's going to run through the process that my DBA was previously doing manually. It's going to take that change and it's going to analyze all of our policies against it to ensure that it doesn't violate any of them. In this case, I am specifically running a policy that checks for any destructive commands that would, for example, drop a table or a column of data. Assuming that my change, which is adding an index, passes, then we're going to go ahead and apply that change to the database. So here you can see the raw SQL that is being applied. So we're doing create non-clustered index. Hey, that's allowed by my policy. So since it meets my policy, we're now applying the change. This application is going to go ahead and get that change applied to the database. And in just a second, hey, it finished. Now that index is available. After every change to the database, we create a tag. This tag is a rollback point. So if in the future we ever need to roll back, we can easily do so. If I go and I look at that migration state table, you'll see that the demo table change set that I just deployed has now been deployed to the sandbox environment, where it had not been before. On the governance front, I do have a policy configured for this particular system. And the policy I've got configured is basically just going and 
searching the database for these regular expressions and preventing any SQL from running that matches them. Let's go ahead and make a quick change that violates this policy. Just like before, Harness is going to automatically detect that change and it's going to pick it up and run the pipeline. This pipeline is going to run through the exact same process that it did previously, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here a little bit and we'll come back right after the policy evaluation completes. As you can see, we cloned the code base and then we computed what SQL is going to be applied based off the pending changes. As you can see, it has that drop table SQL that we are enforcing does not happen. Because of that, we failed on our policy set. Harness Database DevOps provides you with the controls needed so that you can empower your DBAs to keep developers safe, even while enabling your developers to self-service their own changes to the database, while managing their database changes the exact same way that they manage every other change to their application. If you'd like to try out Harness Database DevOps, please reach out to set up time to discuss your particular use cases and get access.